So I'm back again to squash some common misconceptions about being a real estate agent here in the UK. And this time I'll be running through some numbers and revealing my January paycheck as genuinely it's something that I used to love watching on YouTube and it's kind of inspired me to do what I'm doing now. I'm also a big believer in transparency and to be honest, I don't really understand why people are so private and so sensitive about money and about their personal finances. So if you're one of those people, get yeah, it. But before we get into it, if you could hit the like button to let me know that this is the sort of content you want to be watching, I'd be very grateful and I'll continue to post more of the same. So make sure you subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out. So a bit of background very quickly before we jump in. I started as a real estate agent last summer in July whilst I was still 17 so I'm completely new to the job and still in a relatively junior position. I have however been very fortunate to work alongside some fantastic people who have all taught me a lot which has ultimately allowed me to sell 19 million pounds worth of real estate since I started back in July and has now put me in a position where I'm pushing for promotion after just eight months in the job. Now, before we get into any of my personal numbers, I just wanted to say that being an agent can be very hard and the money, to be honest with you, can sometimes be very good and sometimes can be very bad. According to read.com, average estate agent pays 50,000 pounds, whilst according to total jobs, the average is much lower at 32 and a half thousand pounds. Now, if you're working in London, this could be higher, but the average seems about right. The truth is that the pay varies massively depending on who you work for, where you work and the commission offer that you have. I would say that pay in the industry can vary from £20,000 to £200,000 and that's coming from someone who's met some people in the industry that earn a lot of money. So there are anomalies out there but at the same time there are people making money on the lower scale so it's not always as glamorous as people think but it can be. Now if you're running your own estate agency this figure could be in the millions um, but that's just like with any other business. Now for the part that you've all been waiting for let's run through my January paycheck. Quick disclaimer before we do I'm 18 and in a junior position so whilst this isn't crazy money I think it's a good paycheck for someone who's just started and I'm showing this for educational purposes only and to bring a bit of transparency into the industry. Thanks. So here it is let me break it down to you. Basic pay which is obviously very low comes in at 1,354 pounds. Um, then I have a small cash award of 14 pounds. Ha! <laughs> really makes a difference to the paycheck. Then there's some medicash stuff, which you don't need to know about, I guess. Um, and then obviously the bigger part of the pay, which is the commission at 4,313 pounds. So that brings the total pay to 5,681 pounds and 17 pence, which again, isn't too bad for an 18 year old at the moment. Now assuming my pay was the same for the rest of the year, I'd make 68,000 pounds. But the truth is the pay fluctuates massively. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. And in truth, this isn't an amazing paycheck, but it's also not dreadful. It's just a good paycheck. What I do want to do though, is show you the tax section as this is often missed out in these videos. Um, so I had to pay 1,364 pounds in tax in January, um, which meant that I took home 4,316 pounds out of the 5,681 pounds, which is still obviously not bad, but it just goes to show how much you end up paying in taxes um, when you're obviously employed employed by a UK employer. I think it's also worth pointing out that the figure that you see there is obviously only 10% of the commission that the agency receives. So if it was my own business, that commission would be 10 times as much, which obviously is the goal for the future, or at least hopefully. The good thing is that the commission does increase depending on performance. So I'm hoping to be on 25% commission um, for the second half of this year, which would have taken this commission all the way up to 14,200 pounds. So it makes a huge difference, but basically we have a rolling average scheme. So the commission gradually increases from 10% all the way up to 25% in 1% increments. So as I say, my goal for the second half of the year is to be on 25% commission, um, which again, makes a huge difference. It would have made that 4,300 pounds of commission into 14,000 200 pounds in commission. And that's exactly what I mean when I say it takes time to make good money in this industry. You have to be very patient and that's why most agents after the first few weeks, months, end up dropping out because they just can't wait for it. But if you stay in it for the long run, knuckle down, work in the right area with the right people at the right company, you can make good money. So that's it. I hope it helped anyone that's looking to get into the industry or for anyone that's just curious. 
Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, I genuinely mean that, I think 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel, so go down there, hit that red button, I'm aiming for a thousand, I'll see you next time.